Francis, exiled for his role in the killing of security chief Hiram Reynolds. This is HNS. Koro wanted to check in with you. So this is what you and Ryder do for fun. Explore weird vaults that try to kill you. Fly into space clouds that try to kill us too. I deserve a raise. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. It'd be good to bring something beautiful across galaxies. Everyone in the initiative has their something beautiful. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. It sounds like she cared more about what you needed than about what you wanted. I didn't need to be rejected. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into Huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, 
being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Collision course with unknown objects. Make corrections. Sam, are you on the collision is imminent? I'll stop now. Cat ships, a dozen. No, more. They've got us pinned against the Scourge! They are scanning us, Pathfinder. We'll scan them back! Where is the one who activated the remnant? Their DNA signature is there. Answer me. You're the one in my way. Who are you? They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. I actually know a lot about the Remnant. We should compare notes. Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! Report! Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here. It will be tight. Hello? Yes! <laughs> nice work, kid. Yeah, but who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up, anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? Kill, give it what you can. We're setting down. We're being contacted. We have to land. Open a calm. Tove Jagalesto. Tove Jagalesto. Listen, sorry to just show up like this, but I swear we're the galactic good guys. Efanola, Fahan and Gasad Regara. Efanola. <laughs> They're forcing us to land. Then we land. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. We need 
need in that vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. If this goes badly, if I get eaten alive, even if it's hilarious, please destroy the vids. Get the squad time you have. Need me to take my shoes off? A hamdog goes. Nathan Roa. I'm Paran Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes. You crossed Dark Space. I've heard of your journey. Joel, I have this in hand. Ephra saw the ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. She's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Mm. Aya is hidden. Protected. What do you want? I apologize. Landing here the way we did, without warning, on fire, was not the plan. That's good to know. Because if it was, that would be a very bad plan. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the Resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. What's happening? We have a visitor. This isn't safe. I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. It's just a scanner. Put it away. Yeah. Take it easy. This is insane. It belongs in a containment cell. Am I that intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. None of the local flora register in my data files. We've encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. Your city is beautiful. Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. I'm honored. What happens if Ephra doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Never Trying to be. This is the Resistance headquarters. Ephra is waiting inside. They are 
bullies. But this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No. I am telling you to be strong through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the Ket kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose fold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. It wasn't meant that way. I have an arc full of desperate people counting on me to find them a home before they starve. Of course, I feel for you and your people. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you the most I could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. Let me show you what I can do. I won't take one step without your approval. You have no idea what you're dealing with. The Angara learned years ago the perils of messing with vaults. So did the Ket, for that matter. We're done here. Ephra... I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this. Alien, I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want, but when she tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. Thank you for trusting me. I don't, but I can always kill you in your sleep. Good to know. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely.